Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, not bad. Oh. How y'all doing? Yeah. What you doing? Oh, you know. Playing with the pressure washer. Oh, well, it looks like you, you got something new there. <laughs> well, just a new little stick. And then a new reel. So, uh, make it a little easier for us. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... <coughs> Let's get this thing hooked up and let's tell everybody about it. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is awesome and amazing. It's saving us plenty, plenty of time and plenty of struggle. We were uh, just wrapping the hose kind of up and throwing it in the back of the trailer. But now we have something official. So uh, official like a ref with a whistle. You know what I mean? <laughs> RB400, we'll go ahead and get her started. We've got our house cleaner hooked up to it. Um, yeah, let's just see how this goes. I got a new wand because the, the one that came with it, the steel brand, it was stuck open. But uh, we got a new wand. We've got the three foot extension on it. And then we have the soaker hose or the, uh, the soap dispensing nozzle on it. We got it hooked up, of course, like I say. But uh, yeah, let's get to pressure washing, huh? Let's see how this works. get in behind them bushes real good their siding is good and green back there so we're gonna clean that up night nice see how that works out Good, looking good.
trying to clean up some vine mess. Customer had a couple bushes right here with some vines back behind it and I took them out and cleaned it up a little bit. But we're still looking at, you know, this, this kind of stuff from the vine where it held on. I mean, that stuff's like super glue. It's, it's real tough to get off. But everything else is coming off real good. That uh, pre-wash, pre-wash works pretty good. Well, that's it for this project, this pressure washing job. We got another one after this one. But this side of the house was her main focus, their main focus. They, uh, they just really wanted the green algae from these big old bushes gone. And we got it gone, good and clean. These good old vines, I don't know what we're going to have to do to get them gone, but we'll work on it back the house and the other side of the house is done and of course the front is cleaning up good well it did clean up good excuse me all right this is the part i'm happy about because we don't spend 20 minutes wrestling and dealing with this hose no it's not spring loaded but you know, it's manual crank, but that's okay. One step at a time. One step at a time. It's a 100 foot roll, but we able to squeeze 125 foot on it. No, excuse me, 150. 150 foot on it. So that's always good. But you always want to do it as clean as possible. To, uh, of course, this ain't perfect, but that's okay because we got another pressure washing job and we're going to uh, unwind it again. But after that one, we'll wind it up pretty good just so you can put the most amount of water hose on it. Yeah, we ain't going to go too crazy. Oh, oh, what did we just stop on? Oh, this guy. Let's 
see where it got caught down there. Yeah. That's the first time we're using it, so that's how we're gonna find out what's gonna work or not. Come on, big girl. That's another reason to wind it up nice and even because if not, it's gonna get stuck on the bottom part of that mount. All right, so there, and it has a lock. There's the extra on the inside of the chuck. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go get some lunch. But yeah, that's, that's it for this one. We may or may not record for the next one. It's pressure washing, you know, ins and outs of it. But yeah, I'd say that's it always we appreciate you watching tuning in <laughs> well i'm getting ready for the closing because i don't know if we're going to do the next one well you can put this part at the end of the video men all right all right i'll save the good part for when we're done